Once upon a time, a pharaoh decided to build three large pyramids located in Giza for him to be buried there and wait for his afterlife, which became few years later one of the most captivating wonders of the world until today. The only remaining example of one of the original seven wonders of the world is the Great Pyramid lying there in the desert teak landscapes of Egypt. It is a wonder mostly because of its scale and the extraordinary precision with which the work was completed, making it possibly the largest edifice ever built. Archaeologists assumed it to be the burial place of Khufu. However, only an empty sarcophagus has been found inside. But what else was found inside? What secrets lie beneath the most ancient building in history? Join us on this video to uncover the mysteries of the Great Pyramid of Egypt for thousands of years. They have prompted incredible myths and legends, as well as real scientific riddles. Archaeologists are still seeking to understand the origin and purpose of these pyramids. Pyramid mystery number one. Why were these pyramids built? Pyramids were built for religious purposes. One of the earliest civilizations to hold this belief was Egypt. They held that every person had a second self, known as the Ka. The Ka experienced eternal life after the death of the physical body. Those who were fortunate enough to pass Osiris' test desired comfort in their afterlife. Simply put, the Great Pyramids were simply grand tombs of powerful pharaohs. Egypt's pharaohs expected to become gods in the afterlife. To prepare for the next world, they erected temples to the gods and massive pyramid tombs for themselves filled with all the things each ruler would need to guide and sustain himself in the next world. As soon as Pharaoh Khufu ascended the throne, circa 2575 BCE, the work on his eternal resting place began. His Great Pyramid is the largest Giza and towers from 481 feet, 147 meters above the plateau. It's estimated 2.3 million stone blocks each weigh an average of 2.5 to 15 tons. Then Khufu's son, Pharaoh Khafre, built the second pyramid in Giza, circa 2520 BC. His necropolis also included the Sphinx, a mysterious limestone monument with the body of a lion and a pharaoh's head. The Sphinx may stand sentinel for the pharaoh's entire tomb complex. The third of the Giza pyramids is considerably smaller than the first two. Built by the pharaoh Menkora circa 2490 BC, it featured a much more complex mortuary temple. Each massive pyramid is but one part of a larger complex, including a palace, temples, solar boat pits, and other features. Pyramid Mystery Number 2 who really built the pyramids. Egyptologists and historians have long disagreed on who constructed the pyramids and how. Standing at the base of the Giza pyramids, it is difficult to imagine how any of these enormous structures could have been constructed during the reign of a single pharaoh. Herodotus, the Greek historian who wrote of the 5th century BC, 500 years before Christ, is the earliest known chronicler and historian of the Egyptian pyramid age. By his accounts, the labor force that built Khufu totaled more than 100,000 people. But Herodotus visited the pyramids 2,700 years after they were built, and his impressive figure was an educated guess based on hearsay. Modern Egyptologists believe the real number is closer to 20,000. It is thought that Giza was home to a minimal staff of workers who spent the entire year working on the pyramids. However, a sizable labor force would show up at Giza to work on the pyramids in the late summer and early autumn, when the fields would be flooded with water from the annual flooding of the Nile. These farmers and local villagers gathered at Giza to work for their god kings, to build their monuments to the hereafter, which took 20 years to complete. Pyramid Mystery Number 3 What's inside the mysterious cavities inside the Pyramid of Khufu? After announcing the existence of a cavity of a plain size inside the Khufu Pyramid, which goes back to 4,500 years, the Egyptian Ministry of Monuments revealed that archaeologists are aware of the existence of numerous cavities inside the pyramids and that it is not something new. Dr. Abdul Fatal Albana noted that the discovered cavity might contain the real sunboat that belonged to the king. The Egyptian minister reveals another secret of the pharaohs. He said that Egypt has 110 pyramids, three of which are in the pyramids area. Each pyramid carries the name of one king and has a single burial chamber reserved for the king only. 
located at the bottom of the pyramid itself, except for the Great Pyramid, where there are three chambers for burial. Archaeologists have uncovered a mysterious enclosure hidden deep inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The massive cavity stretches for at least 30 meters and lies above the Grand Gallery, an oppressive ascending corridor that connects the Queen's Chamber to the kings in the heart of the historic monument. It is the first major structure found in the pyramid since the 19th century. It is unclear whether the void is a chamber or a corridor, or whether it played any more than a structural role in the pyramid's construction, such as relieving weight on the Grand Gallery below. But measurements show that it's similar dimensions to the Grand Gallery, which is nearly 50 meters long, 8 meters high, and more than a meter wide. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Time Capsule, for fascinating content. Until next time, keep exploring.